Welcome to Artec. Today I want to take you through the core system, a full RV OEM control system that controls all of the key parameters within your RV. So the reason that we developed the core system here was to reduce clutter and increase accessibility of all of your key systems and switching within your RV. One of the problems that we were seeing in the space was that all of the control modules had way too many controls and they weren't simple to use for the majority of users. Through a single screen solution in the RV, we're able to bring that all onto one control module. It's also accessible on your mobile app and you can have fixed all mobile screens within the system. Each system comprises of the serve screen, which is a single fixed display and a seven or a 10 inch. And then you can add in either VOs, which is the mobile module or a tread device with the RV uh, controls app downloaded onto here. So to start off, you're presented with a load screen. To exit out of the screen, all you need to do is tap to go forward. This is gonna bring you to your homepage. The homepage is gonna have all of your key parameters, including easy access to turning your inverter on and off, turning your interior lights on and off, your internet. It's gonna give you key battery parameters, such as voltage, percentage, amperage leaving uh, or entering the battery bank, and then quick and easy access to your hydronic system, which provides heat to the cabin, as well as hot water for your rig. In the top left hand corner, we've got interior and exterior temperatures. And in the top right corner, we've also got your time to go remaining, meaning how long can you operate with all things functioning at that particular point of time with the battery bank that you have. So your interior and exterior temperatures and your time to go remaining are gonna remain on all of your pages, including your home, power, HVAC, plumbing, lighting and driving mode page. Let's dive into those. So moving first to power, obviously a really important aspect to all rigs. It's what gives you the autonomy to go off grid. So on this power page, you're gonna see the same interior and exterior temperatures, and you're also gonna see your time to go. Time to go is directly related to all of the information coming in on your power page. So in the top left-hand side, you're gonna see your solar. We display voltage and amperage. The alternator side of things, we display your amperage coming in, the field utilization, so not the actual field percentage that wake speed is sending, but the amount of the available that we're using. We are also gonna see the voltage and the temperature of that alternator as those are key parameters. You're gonna have your battery uh, parameters once again, which is gonna be percentage, and then all of the energy leaving and entering the battery displayed in amperage, and then the voltage of your system. We've got your inverter charger down in the bottom middle, and we have the voltage coming in from shore power as well as the amperage. And then on the same page, we've added the inverter controls, both to have inverter uh, on, off, charger only mode, and then a way to easily change the AC uh, current limit from shore power. Previously in Victron systems with the GX device, you would have to go to a separate page away from your main parameter page to change this. We're also gonna display your DC consumption. And so that's gonna be everything leaving your battery bank for your DC loads and your AC consumption as well, uh, everything that you're using from your inverter. So the power system integrated with the Garmin core system is from Victron Energy. That's because Victron has an incredibly robust CAN system, which allows us to pull all of the data out of the Victron side of things and display it on the Garmin side of things. We need this robust connection to be able to pro provide reliable data for you to use in your RV. Moving on to the HVAC side of things, we've got your hydronic system, which is going to allow control of your heating system for your rig, either with the floor or fan modules and the ability for you to have hot water while out on the road. Our core system has paired with Rickson's hydronic system, one of the most reliable hydronic systems in the market with the best support. So for your hydronic system, you're gonna see all of the base parameters that you would see accessible on your Rickson's MCS7 system anyway. So an ability to turn the system on or off, to select your heat source, to turn on your floor or your fan units, and then to set the thermostat for you to be able to set the interior temperature. In our core system, we provide the interior temperature from one of the Garmin temp sensors that's mounted within the rig. We also provide the exterior temp sensor, which is mounted underneath the rig. The thermostat in the system for both your heating and your air conditioning side are the same. So as you increase or decrease that, that's gonna simultaneously turn off and on one system so that you can't run them at the same time. This is advantageous because you obviously wouldn't be heating your rig while trying to cool it. For the air conditioning side, we've got two air conditioners integrated at the moment. One is the Cruising Comfort, which is the undermount system. And then we've got the Rec Pro for the rooftop units. For this, it's gonna operate similar to the heating system in the sense that you can turn your air conditioning on or off. And that's set by the thermostat as well. When you turn on your air conditioner, it's gonna to default to high fan and you can turn that to a medium or a low. If you don't want the air conditioner, but you still want ventilation, then you can turn off the air conditioning portion of that 
and just have a high, medium or low fan blowing in the rig to move some air around. Lastly on the HVAC page, we've got the ventilation integration. The ventilation integrated into this system is the Max Air fan, specifically the 8900N. This is the CAN enabled module from Max Air. This is gonna give you all of the same parameters that you would normally see on that control, including the ability to turn it on or off, like you'll see on the, uh, on the roof with that opening, to be able to have an exhaust or an intake and then set the fan speed. For the plumbing side of things, you've got all of your main parameters that you'd wanna see on that page, including the ability to turn on and off your water pump, dump your gray water valve if you've got an electronic dump, see your water tank levels, up to four of them, as well as your hot water availability if your hydronic system is turned on. You've also got a quick access page to the hydronic side of things so that you have a way to turn on your hot water from your plumbing page. On the lighting page, we've got them separated by interior and exterior lights. We've got master on offs for both of these with memory. So if you set your interior lights to certain positions on the slider and you turn it off, when you turn them back on, they'll return to the same slider position. We've got a slow dimming feature in the ramp. So you'll see into the interior lights will ramp up and down nicely for a nice ambient glow. On the exterior lights, we've got front, passenger side, driver side and rear lights and two auxiliary zones for you to add as well. These are also dimmable except for the front light which has a dedicated 30 amp relay for a large light bar or exterior lighting pods. You'll notice that the graphic to the right of these lights will represent which lighting zones are lit up on the exterior of your rig so that you can tell while inside. Built into the core system, we added analog switching for all of your key items. Because you've got 12 interior lighting zones and exterior lighting zones, we've got 12 switches allocated to those. We've also built in switching for key elements such as your water pump, gray water dump, Starlink as well. The way that the momentary switches work on the lighting side of things is it's a simple on off if you touch it and if you hold it down, it'll go through a dimming cycle. The driving mode page has the same exterior lights and the air compressor. This gives you the ability to have key parameters available on one screen while driving. Lastly, touching on the fact that the core system will get better over time. The whole point of the system was to provide a platform for us to improve on, to add more integrations and implement more things based on the feedback that you give us. For example, the system that you buy today will be more robust in three months, six months, a year from now, as we add in those integrations.